a fitting send-off for the most senior Christian cleric our young nation has witnessed. Appointed by Pope John Paul II in 1982, Osmond Peter Martin rose to prominence as Belize's first native bishop at a time when political and spiritual leadership were most important to the development of the newly independent country. Bishop Martin, as he became known thereafter, tended his flock with the careful attention of a young shepherd, always making sure that there was unity within his growing congregation. Every year, the church used to gather the young people from all over the country, and we have youth jamboree in different communities. And I can recall Bishop Martin being one of those supporters. He supported youth ministry, and when we would gather, at times when he's available, he would come and visit with us. But every time I remember he would go to Dangria, he would check on the young people, and um, I'm always amazed at his powerful memory. And that keen sense of recollection perhaps was honed during his many visits to the far reaches of the country, administering and evangelizing as he went about the business of the Roman Catholic Church. The high priest, in a great many ways, is reminiscent of the father of the nation. As George Price was with his magnetic personality, so was Bishop Martin. Not only were they devout in their unwavering faith, their leadership traits were very much similar. Governance with humility. You look at his past life mm -hmm. as a priest and you saw leadership and you saw a man with vision. Mm -hmm. Because he was a visionary person, I can recall Bishop Hodap making a comment about Bishop Martin one time to me. He said, you know, he got many things done and I don't know how he got it done. <laughs> it's true, financially speaking. A resourceful Belizean. Yes, he knew who to contact and there were people who supported right. his work. And I think that is what fascinated Bishop Hoda because, you know, he didn't have a priest running to him for everything. Mm -hmm. But here's a man who will seek out people who, and the people saw what he was doing and who supported his work. The coming together of all races and ethnicities, members of the clergy as well as government, to bid him farewell, speaks to his achievement as a man of the cloth. From the day of his consecration to the day of his retirement, Bishop Martin was clear in his mission to live the values of his young Belizean Christian church. Bishop Martin once said that his mission, his work was, and I quote, to make Christ known to others and to make Christ be loved by others. That in a nutshell is what evangelization is all about knowledge and after knowledge love i think the people who knew bishop martin best his biological family his fellow priests and members of the clergy as well as the laity who served with him would agree that he was a spiritual leader who always embodied strength humility and dignity he needed to be strong after all he was leading his church in a new era not only in Belize, but also in the Roman Catholic Church on a whole. That divine guidance, a life dedicated to driving his flock, is acknowledged as far away as the Holy See. The Holy Father was saddened to learn of the death of Bishop Osmond Peter Martin, and he sent heartless condolences to the clergy, religious, and lay faithful of the diocese, recalling with gratitude the lay bishops many years of devout and faithful service to the church in Belize City. His Holiness commend his soul to the mercy of God and pray that his memory will inspire in the faithful and ever more generous witness to the gospel. Until you awake to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Bishop Osmond Peter Martin. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray.
to the Lord. Reporting for News 5, I am Asana Cayetano.